Good morning, I'm Robin Gibson, and this is the Harvard House Money Morsel, where we use the power of video and social media to keep you up to date with what's moving your money. Welcome back. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you're hearing and you would like to get the regular updates. Click the bell so that you are notified when we release a new video. This morning I'm sitting with uh, Vili Palsa, Chief Economist and Portfolio Manager at Harvard House. Vili, we've seen since the COVID uh, crisis, the RAND um, touched the early 19s. We're 25% better than that. We touched uh, 1440 roundabout yesterday. From this year alone, we're 11% better on the RAND than we were um, when we came into the year. And on top of that, uh, the S&P 500 is 5% off. So guys who moved their money early in the year are effectively 16% down. Um, it's very frustrating um, investing internationally. Can you give uh, some sort of idea how investors should think about international investment? Morning, Robin. Yes, thank you. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's always interesting when investments happen and there's a foreign and a local component because the RAND comes into play. And um, yeah, history has shown us everybody's a currency expert. You know, from the man in the street, from, from the hairdresser, right through to the so-called professional asset manager, um, deemed to think that they know where the rent's going. Um, and it always surprises. us. I think um, what one has to take into account is when you do investments, is first of all, look at the fundamentals of the company you want to invest in before you look at anything else. Um, so if the company is doing well, doesn't matter where they're located, and it's an operating model that can work and sustain, pay dividends, reward uh, asset managers, that's the company you would like to see in your portfolio. Then obviously the next element comes in as to where are they located. So South African operation, obviously you don't have the effect of the RAND in there. Um, yes, it does come through in inflation and costs and things like that. And then your foreign element for a South African uh, individual is if you then invest in a foreign company. And as you say, uh, if we run into the US market, suddenly you're 10% off since the beginning of the year. But markets do come in swings and roundabouts. And what I always, and what we as Harvard House say to clients is, don't focus on the rent. Focus on how we can help you to diversify your investments. And it's not just a case of rand hedge versus local. It's a concept of where do we find alternatives? Examples are, let's use AVI, which is sort of in the food industry in South Africa. Yes, there's Tiger Brands, a similar type of thing, and Lipstar, etc. Those are four companies or three companies. But if we look internationally, you will find 15, 100, 200 of these companies who are actually doing much better than we do because of their spread of business. So back to the point of investing in a company that rewards you as, as, as uh, investor. The RAND comes in swings and roundabouts. Um, yes, it's strong at the moment, and one have to sort of take it with a knock. Uh, there's reasons why it's strong, but um, yeah, don't focus on the RAND every time on your investment because uh, you may never make the perfect call whether it's the bottom or the or the top uh, for for the RAND specifically. So really the message to investors is that it's more about getting access to a wider range of businesses and different business models as opposed to a pure RAND play. Yes, correct. Um, we can use various other examples, uh, the medical, the hospital industry, or think about the vaccine process when suddenly companies manufactured these vaccines. If it was only aspirin, then everybody in the world would have loved to own aspirin. Uh, a foreigner would have loved to invest in here. But Aspen is not the only one. The other big companies, J&J, &J, uh, the pharmaceutical companies themselves, uh, AstraZeneca, you name it, all of them do manufacture that specific vaccine. Now, if you wanted the exposure to that, South Africa potentially had one option to, to choose from. But if you look at the spread of companies like that, again, you are the same story. Diversification on the type of investment, not the currency investment. What we also need to take into account is not always just the RAND, because those companies operate all over the world, like our map is showing here. So there's a second round of currency effects that come into play. So if you start focusing only on currencies, you will never invest, because a dollar to a pound translation or a dollar to a, to a one or a Russian ruble 
to some emerging market currency, they're all intertwined. Again, go back to the fundamentals of what the business do. Okay, awesome. Well, um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to get some insight in the options that Harvard House has for international diversification from direct portfolios to our offshore unit trust, please get in touch with one of our financial advisors. Vili, thanks for joining us Pleasure. this morning. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.